Hello and welcome to game 7 of the season. We are away to Codnum Athletic today and the team is pretty much back to normal after the cup win and hopefully the little bit of rest the, the players had will do them some good in this game. And let's get on to the team talk. We shall pick up from where you left off last time. I think that's about right. Let's get this game underway. And hope we can have a uh, good result today. Lost our last league game. But bounce back in the cup and hopefully we keep that form going on until, until the... Uh, into these league games. It would appear that the players have decided to leave the stadium and they are finally back. I do apologise as my laptop is running slower than I do and we are finally underway and we start proceedings and can only go as far as their defender who kicks it out for a throw in end of highlight. So hopefully you guys are enjoying the content so far. Um, I am always looking at, oh, we have a corn hit. And it's Carter once again, crosses the ball in. And Luke Hurst has scored. We are 1-0 up in the seventh minute and he has his 10th goal of the season. Um, I don't know if the laptop freezing put their goalkeeper off a little bit, but I am not complaining. And a minute later, we have another corner from the same side. Car puts the ball in. Force tight the door. Jaffa, oh, on the ball, and it's cleared. Good attempt there. Good save from the Cottenham Athletic goalkeeper. And we have a, another corner. Ball comes in. Hurst, and he puts it. Oh, the goalkeeper saved it. And we have the fourth corner of the game. And Carl once again puts the ball in. Newell on the volley and their defence finally deals with the threat. But we have a throw in on the left hand side. Taken by Cordora. Falls to Hurst. Back to Cordora who whips the ball in. Keeper punches it away. It's Newell on the ball with a long range shot. And it is a good save. So yeah. I am looking at a few different pieces of uh, recording software for these videos. Um, kind of using this first season as a almost like a ongoing experiment, and uh, yeah, hopefully I can. I'm sure there will be things out there other than using the uh, kind of recording equipment that my laptop came with. And as you can see by the graphics and the performance, despite the low level of graphics, a laptop isn't what you would call okay. It's a little bit worse than that. But we'll see. I'll see what I can do. So we are half an hour into the game. We are 1-0 up and they haven't even had a shot to... Uh, and we have another corner down this right hand side. We must be playing quite dangerous down that side. Jaffa wins the ball at the edge of the box, passes it to Carter, who whips the ball in. Hudson Adoy heads it down to Akiji, who can't get his header past the defender. And the shots are just <laughs> raining in, but not a single one of them gets any further than a defender's face. Ideally, we should have put a few more chances away. And their goalkeeper's goal kick only goes as far as Hudson Adoy takes a blister and run down the right. Hurst's header is. Can you call that wide? I think even wide is an understatement. That was. For a man who scored 10 goals this season in six or seven appearances that is a that's almost my level of football not great 
So Cottenham have a throw in on the halfway line down the left hand side. And their left back seems to be running unchallenged and Miller gives away an absolute. But why why would you do that? Complete cruise control. They haven't even had a shot on target. And Cottenham Athletic have equalised from the penalty spot. Um, I don't know what uh, players were thinking letting their uh, left back run from pretty much the halfway line completely unchallenged. There's a bit of a... And Lucas with his 11th goal of the season rectifies things almost immediately. Still, don't know what the hell they were doing. Absolutely. Uh, I don't even know. Then again, I am the manager. It does not surprise me that they have moments like that. And you can all agree with me. I will not hold it against you. Uh, things are going well, but I know you're capable of even better. I.e. tackle the other team's players when they have the ball. Don't just stand there looking around like spectators. Maybe they were uh, taking this whole kind of social distancing to a new level and they thought hmm, maybe we shouldn't tackle. I don't know. I hope everyone out there is keeping healthy and keeping safe in these strange and slightly scary times. And the ball gets put out wide to Hudson Odoi. And the defender can't quite cope with his strength, goes to Hurst and it loops just over the bar. Good start to the second half and Hudson Odoi has picked up a knock by the looks of things. May have to change him. Don't want to risk one of our top players so far this season getting injured. It's Miller. If we get a penalty this game, I'm going to put him as the taker. Because I think he deserves a chance to kind of... You know, it wasn't his fault that he had to do that to the defender to give away the penalty. It was the midfielders standing around doing nothing that uh, put him in this situation. And Hudson Odoi, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take him off in a second. We'll see how this highlight goes. Carter with a free kick. Puts the ball in. It's Jaffa. And he f hits the bar and follows up and gets his first goal of the season. Does the vice captain. And the computer is going crazy. Okay. Let's make a change. Lewington, uh, substitute right winger. You can go on for Hudson Odoi. And Carter goes along to Hurst, who collects the ball, and oof, keeper saves it. Uh, it wouldn't matter anyway, Hurst was offside. So, yeah, I, we have, um, uh, as you guys have probably seen, and the announcement just before the game finally signed a backup keeper I will uh, go into more detail when he makes his full debut but all of his statistics and whatnot are on our Twitter feed for you to all enjoy and have a browse he is a under 20 a former under 20 um, Panama, I believe, international um, with five caps to his name. So, yeah, hopefully, he can. Uh, stats wise, he's not quite as good as R, but hopefully, he can uh, develop over the season and be a secure backup to the team should anything happen to our goalkeeper. And we have made our three substitutions, and we only have 15 minutes of the game left. 
not including added time and 28 shots 12 on target we are pretty much dominant being 3-1 up and Hurst's header is safely collected by the Codenham Athletic goalkeeper and played out of our defence Hurst on the ball also on a hat-trick thundering shot and keeper parries it over the bar and we have yet another corner down the right hand side with Carter putting the ball in and it is headed away by the Codenham defence Carl with a tidy pass into the middle to McGeorge who passes it back to Barzi and we will never know what happens after Gaia is having a very good game, two assists to his name, despite not getting on the score sheet himself. Lewington puts the ball in, Akiji heads the ball, and Farrell takes it safely in his hands. Despite how good we are playing, I'm still ticked off about that penalty. Got a lot of football manager sometimes. As realistic as it gets, sometimes you've got to laugh or you'll cry. Sometimes both. And there's the final whistle. Then the score is Cottenham Athletic 1, Southall Town 3. Um, yeah, apart from the whole penalty situation, it's only the penalty that annoyed me. They happen. It was just the manner of how our team decided to just stand there, doing nothing. Quite literally, nothing. To give away the penalty. But let's look on the positive side here. Hurst has another two goals to his name. Vice-captain has his first goal of the season. And Matt Carter with yet another brilliant performance as captain in the middle of the park. Um, yeah, that was... Um, I'm, I'm happy, apart from the penalty situation, about the game. And yeah, on to the next one. And mathematically, I think we should still be top of the table. We'll have to... Uh, I always post the table after every game, so... You know, you guys can... You guys will be able to see. Anyway, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Uh, don't forget to comment any video ideas or anything in the comment section below. Hit the like button on the video. Now I know I always say on these videos please hit the like button. Please do because it gets a bit more exposure for the channel for the Southfold Town Twitter account and in turn that you know it, it brings more um, exposure to the real Southfold team who I will put the uh, link to their Twitter account on in the video description. Um, and that, that's that's the main thing. I mean I'm doing this doing this for a bit of fun. You know, a bit more ent entertainment for you guys, but most of all, you know, Southwold is a very nice place. Hold it dear to my heart, even though I'm not from even close to there. I'm kind of um, from Essex in England, and they are in Suffolk. It's a couple of hours drive, but they are a town I hold close to my heart, and they deserve all the support that they can get. And that's what I'm hoping for through this whole journey until I get to the Champions League and win it with Southwold. Anyway guys, take care and I will see you next time around.